Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I am very excited because today I am going to take you on a road trip through the north of the beautiful island of Sardinia. We are going to start our road trip here in Aiguero and we are going to start here in the beautiful hotel of Calabona. We spent a few nights here in the Hotel Calabona, which is located right in front of the sea. We have a beautiful hotel room with this small balcony that you can see here. We can see the sunset from here, actually, it's beautiful. And then we have the room, which is a double room. It's very classical, very elegant. We've got our entry. We have been spending here a few nights already, so we put our stuff already inside of the closet. And then we have the bathroom with everything you need. And it is a very comfortable and very beautiful hotel. They serve a delicious breakfast buffet with lots of food. It is absolutely delicious. And well, we spent three nights here and we really enjoyed our stay. It is a very comfortable and a very beautiful hotel with very nice and supportive stuff. It is not far away from the city center of Alguero. You can walk there and from here you can start various activities in the area of Alguero. In our case, this is the starting point of our road trip. Now we gotta pack up all of our stuff and then we will be ready to start our road trip. We are now in the fisher village Stintino. You can see here behind me the harbor. There's a small port. It is a rather small town but it is a very cute and beautiful town and it is famous because there are some absolutely stunning beaches here in this area of Stintino. We drove here more or less 50 minutes from Aiguero and it's the first stop of our road trip. Now, for those of you who are actually planning to come here to Sardinia, I do have a complete travel guide for the north of Sardinia, where you can find this whole route that we are doing here in this road trip. But you will also find alternative places that you can visit and also alternative activities, as well as a completely planned out trip for 10 days. So depending on how long you are staying here in Sardinia, you will already have your complete trip planned out, which is going to save you a lot of time when organizing your own trip to Sardinia. So make sure to check out the link in the description below to check out the travel guide for the north of Sardinia. Now, as mentioned before, Stintino is quite small, but it is beautiful to walk along the harbor here, which is quite large actually. And you will also find lots of restaurants, hotels, so the typical things that you can find in touristic places. But we are now going to get into the car to drive to one of those insanely beautiful beaches, which I am very excited about. Okay, so we just arrived at the beach La Pelosa, which is meant to be one of the most stunning beaches here in Sardinia. And wow, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm not disappointed. It is super windy today and there are lots of waves, but look at that white sand here behind me and this beautiful, insanely blue water. I cannot believe it. It's hard to imagine this place when there are no waves, no wind and everything is calm. It must be insane, but this beach is huge. It is very large and it's just stunning. So in this area, there are several beautiful beaches. As I've heard, this one here is the most beautiful one, but you can do further things here in this area. For example, you can do a tour over to that island there. It's a natural reserve and it's meant to be a very beautiful tour. And then also you can see there the little tower behind me. Here on this northern end, it's called Capo Falcon. And there you will be able to do some hikes as well. So there are various options here in this area. But for me, this beach here is definitely a must see if you are here in the area of Stintino. All right, for us it is now time to leave this beautiful beach. But before we do so, I would like to mention one more thing. You can see here on the sign that it is important to always clean your feet. And there's actually one reason behind that, because this beach here is apparently slowly disappearing. And that is because there are lots of people here in summer and those people always bring some sand with them, right? On feet, on your towels, whatever. So make sure to always clean your things and leave the sand here on the beach. And also remember, this is actually a natural beach. This sand here is super fine and beautiful. I've only seen that in the Caribbean Sea so far. It is beautiful, I understand that, but it is nature and not a souvenir. So make sure to leave the sand here on the beach 
to support protecting this beautiful and stunning natural beach here. And we arrived at our next stop, which is called Casesado, and it is a coastal town with a castle on the hill. It looks very picturesque on photos, so I'm excited to explore it a little bit. We are going to take a little walk here through the city center of Castelsado. Here in Castelsado, you can do a walk through the city. It is not huge, so it is easy walkable. And you can explore the very cute and beautiful streets here of the city. You can go up all the way to the castle. It is open for visits during the day. And of course, you can also try one of the restaurants. There are a lot of restaurants here in the city, so make sure to try some of those as well. And of course, there are beautiful views over the sea that you can also enjoy. Now, this is the entrance of the castle and you will have to pay five euros to enter it. Even though for those who are not interested in entering the castle, I would actually say that it is still worth it to get up here, up to the hill, because you will get stunning views over the area from here. And also the streets here are super cute and there are lots of restaurants that actually look really nice. And here we are at the next stop, which is called the Costa Paraíso or Paradise Coast. And it definitely deserves that name in my opinion. Look at these cliffs with the water in the background. The cliffs have this kind of red orange color and it looks absolutely stunning. We just parked our car here right in front of this place and it is enjoying this beautiful view right now. While we are going to be a bit active and do a little hike here in the area, you can do some hikings here. And there are also small beaches here in the area. So let's enjoy the nature. There are stairs here behind me. We can actually go all the way down to the water, which is by the way, crystal clear. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera because of the waves and so on, but it is crystal clear and absolutely beautiful this place. Here in the hills behind me, there are actually lots of hotels. This is quite a touristic area. You can do some hiking here in this area and just enjoy this really stunning nature. For us, we don't have that much time because we still need to go to Capotesta and then we will also have to go to Palau today. So we are a little bit on a tight schedule. So we gotta keep moving forward, but you can definitely spend some time here in this area. It is really super beautiful. We just dropped off our car in the next stop, which is Capotesta. And this area is meant to be a very beautiful one. And there's lots of hiking routes you can do. There are also some small beaches here and we can already get a glance of some cliffs that are here behind me. So I am expecting lots of very stunning view, beautiful turkeys water. Here we are at our first viewpoint. It is called Bevedere Nurage. And well, the view is absolutely spectacular. You can basically see this whole area. You can see beautiful cliffs. And if you check the stones, I think it is very interesting because the rock formations here are quite unique. They are super smooth and round and not edgy at all, which is super beautiful and absolutely stunning, but it kind of looks unnatural. I cannot believe this is actually natural. But yeah, you have a few viewpoints here in the area. There are lots of routes we've been passing a lot of little paths where you can do some hiking. There were even people doing some biking here as well. So this area is also perfectly for biking. And then, well, look at these views. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Down there behind me, you can see the first small beaches here of the area. They are beautiful. The water looks crystal clear from up here. And well, it is perfect because in between your hikes, you can actually do a small break here in the water and relax a little bit. So usually there is a path that is quite visible. At some parts you have to figure it out a little bit. Just like there before, there was no path anymore. It ended somehow, but you gotta figure it out a little bit and then we can find things like that. And we can see the path is actually continuing. So, but in general, it is not a hard hike. And I would say everybody can manage this. Look what we found there. This is actually a turtle. I wasn't expecting to see a turtle here. I saw a sign before that there are goats here in this area, but I really wasn't expecting to find a turtle here on the way. It is so cute. 
we've now reached an area that is actually called the Moon Valley. I suppose that is because of the surrounding rock formations here that make it look kind of like the moon. We can find a few small and tiny beaches. There is one right here behind me. And then you can continue this hike all the way along the coastline actually and get to further beaches. We are going to spend some time here now, rest a little bit, but then it's already time to return to the car because we actually still have a drive ahead of us. We will drive all the way to Palau, which is more or less a 40 minutes drive and we will spend one night there. Hello and welcome to Palau. We are doing a quick little city stroll here through the city center of Palau. We arrived yesterday, but we weren't able to see that much because we arrived quite late already. This is the harbor of Palau, the little port, and it looks beautiful. This is the area where all the tours start. We are going to do a tour to La Madalena, which is an island that is actually very close to Palau. There are several islands here in the area and they say that you will find the most beautiful beaches of Italy here in this area of the archipelago La Madalena. So I'm very excited for the tour, but the tour won't be part of this video because this is just the road trip and the quick stops that we are doing along the road. I will do another separate video about that boat tour because I think it's going to be epic and it definitely deserves its own video. So make sure to subscribe to not miss out on that beautiful boat tour. Now let's do a little walk through the city of Palau and have a closer look around the city. It is a very small town so we'll see what we can discover here and we don't have that much time here because well the tour is going to start soon. There's actually some beaches here in Palau you can see them behind me actually there you can see the harbor and just a little bit on the side there are some beaches here. So we found a nice little market here in this area. It is right in front of the port and there's also lots of restaurants. Of course, this is the city center, like the most central part. So of course you will find a lot of restaurants here, probably also a lot of stores. A lot of things are still closed. We are here at the end of April, so it is quite early and high season has not yet started. So there are still lots of things closed. So when you come here in summer in high season, I'm pretty sure this area will be crazily full of people and well people having their lunch here and whatever or their breakfast it's still early but yeah it is very cute this place so the city of Palau is very well maintained it is super clean and a very cute town actually it is not that huge but as mentioned before we are here to do a tour through the archipelago of La Magdalena and I'm so excited for that. I think this is actually a must if you come here to Sardinia. So make sure to come to Palau to do at least that one tour here. You can also spend some time there on one of the islands. There's one main one with the city and the others are just for visits, for tours and so on. But anyway, Palau is a cute little village, but for us it is time now to go to the port to actually start our activity, which again will be shown in a different video. And well, for this video, it is now time to continue the road trip. We are going down the east coast to Cala Gonone. We are going to see some epic landscapes and beaches there as well. We are now here on the east coast of Sardinia in Cala Gonone. You can see here behind me the little port of the city. It is a rather small town, but here at the port you can rent your own boats that you can even drive without a license. There are boats that are five to six meters long that you can rent for the day to explore the surrounding beaches because this area here is actually known for its beautiful beaches and the beautiful and stunning cliff views. But there are other options in case you don't want to rent a boat. You can also do a tour, of course, or you can explore it with your car or even hiking. There are a few hikes here in the surrounding area. The city itself is not that big as mentioned before. There's a small city center. There are lots of restaurants here and of course also lots of hotels. It's a rather touristic area but it is a very beautiful and cute city. The town of Calagonone is really beautiful and there are various beaches here in the city and also there's even a dog friendly beach. So for those who are traveling with their furry friends, there's even a little beach for dogs. And then there's kayaks that you can rent. As mentioned before, you can rent boats here. You can do lots of tours here in the area. 
It is meant to be an absolutely stunning area and I can only imagine that because this place here in the city is already really, really beautiful. I am now on the viewpoint of the Cala Fuili, which you can see down there, and it looks absolutely stunning from up here. The water is crystal clear and it comes in different kinds of blue, different shades of turquoise. It is absolutely stunning in the view from up here. The beach comes with some stones, some white rocks, and also this area here is perfect for climbing. Actually, I've seen some climbers here that were climbing up the walls behind me. And there are some hikes that you can do down there in the area as well. So this is the very first beach. As you can see, there's no sand. There are tiny little rocks here on the beach, but the water is super beautiful, crystal clear and in different shades of blue. It's absolutely stunning. And then there are also some people climbing here. I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but it's super cool. We just had some lunch. We ate some pizza and some ice cream. And now it is time to go back to Aigero, or actually we will do one more stop on the way, but it's still a long way to go today, so for us it is time to leave Calagonone for now. We are at our next stop. This is a viewpoint of the city Bossa, which you can see here behind me. It is meant to be a very beautiful and cute town. You can see colorful houses there in the center, in the historical center of the city. And then there's also a castle on the hill, which is meant to be very beautiful. Let's get in the car and drive closer to the city center. We are in front of the castle, which is on top of a hill and it is absolutely beautiful. It is a very stunning and impressive castle. You can enter it for five euros per person and it is definitely worth it to get up here because look at that view. It's super beautiful. And we are now going to explore a little bit the historical center of Bossa, which looks super beautiful. I actually already liked the city when we entered it because we were crossing a bridge and a river and it just looked super picturesque and super cute and beautiful. And it continues here. You can see lots of colorful houses here. We are at a, one of the central squares. There's a cathedral, something that looks very impressive. And well, in general, this is a very cute historical center, I would say, with very cute and well-maintained little streets. All right, so in my opinion, this is a very beautiful town and seriously, very much worth it to visit it. It is not far from Aigero, so those of you who stay in Aigero, you can easily come here. It takes, I think, 45 minutes to get here by car. And yeah, spend some time here in the town, explore it, get lost in its tiny streets. And also you can eat a lot. There are lots of restaurants here in this area. Now for us, it is time to go back to the car because we are at our final stop of the road trip and we are now going back to Aigero and we will spend one more night there. And also they say, by the way, that the road from Bossa to Aigero is a very beautiful and scenic road. So I'm excited to see if we can get some nice views there on the way to Aigero. We are now back here in Aigero. In the same hotel where we actually started this video, we are back in the Hotel Calabona to spend one more night here to rest before we go back home. The road trip was exhausting to be honest because it was a lot of driving, but it was also so much worth it. We saw stunning landscapes that were absolutely epic and worth all the driving. I clearly recommend you to get a car to move a little bit around Sardinia because the island has so many beautiful stops and amazing activities that you can do. So it is definitely worth it to move a little bit around. Now, as mentioned before, if you need some support with your travel planning, I do have a full guide here about the north of Sardinia, which you will find in the description below. So make sure to check that out because it's going to help you to plan your own trip to Sardinia a lot. Now, I hope you also enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something about Sardinia and got an inspiration about your own trip and know now what to do and what to see here on Sardinia. If you enjoyed this road trip, make sure to leave me a thumbs up because you are going to support my work a lot by doing so. And also subscribe to my channel because as mentioned before, I'm going to show you some more activities that we did here on Sardinia that were absolutely epic and so much fun and are highly recommended 
for your own trip here in Sardinia. Now this is it for today's videos. For me it's now time to rest and I hope to see you in the next video next Friday.